go. Good evening, everyone. It is I, Sharon Tal, the soul alchemist. Couple of minutes delay, I apologize. So my name is Sharon Tal. I am the soul alchemist. This is our Thursday night live or whenever you watch it. So we are always starting with a little bit of um, a little bit of sage. Hi, Amanda. And if you're here and you're saying hello, say hello. And I'm very happy that you are all here again. Small apologies. However, I haven't stopped from probably yeah, seven o'clock this morning. So having me here after 14 hours and still smiling, that is perfect. So here's a little bit of sage for you. Burning, burning, burning. Hola, Yasu, and how are we? And howdy, and here we are, starting, being, knowing. So, how have you been? What's been happening for you? How was your week? How is this full moon treating you? Have you all lost your mind or you're feeling all right? This is really depends on who is asking, right? Can you hear me properly? Can you see me properly? That is what we want. So today is a very special day. Today is the holiday of Purim. And Purim, it's almost like the Jewish Halloween, but um, it has so many more. I just want to see that you see me well. That's it. It has a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, significance because today and in the last two days, it's actually an opportunity to turn things around. It's an opportunity to shift the negativity into positivity and to create, here, yeah, I reckon that will show better, and an opportunity to actually create a new reality. And the reality that you wanna create needs to be a little bit more positive Hey, Francis, who else is in here? Wave and say hello. Um, when we are allowing ourselves to say that we are ready to change into positivity, your whole energy is shifting. Your whole energy... Oh, the thunder. No, it's the train. Um, your whole energy is creating a new pathways for you. And when you are choosing to create these new pathways, the universe is there for you to enable you to create whatever you want to create. So if I will ask you, um, if I will ask you, what is it that you would like to manifest? What will it be? Tell me, what would you like to manifest in your life? Because tonight it's magic. Tonight, it's an opportunity, global, strong opportunity of changing, of creating, of recreating and resetting everything. So let me know. What is it? Write to me. You waved at, I did wave at you. Yes, you changed your name, Sam. Very big name there. <laughs> so. When we are choosing and connecting through um, our highest self, our whole energy will create and will align to the soul. When we are connecting to the soul, you are going to be on par with everything that you want and everything that you need and everything that saves you or serves you when you are doing what you need to do. So, Francis, you want peace? You want to be heaven on earth artist, music, painting, and dance? Beautiful. What else? Sam, you want four love hearts? <laughs> and Amanda, and who is there? More there, and Fleur, Fleury. Um, you see, today I started to write, but really I wrote two and a half words because I was oh so busy. So even to prepare, so I would like to have more 
I would like to have more space between the breathing to allow ourselves to create, yes, a holiday, 100%. Um, the question is again, how are we going to create what we want and what we need without having any frustration or any stress connected to it? So I can tell you that um, when you are aligned, things will come to you. So if you're feeling that not enough things are coming through, you need to check what it is. I can tell you, let me tell you a little story. I'm doing now the renovation for my new place that, that please God, this time next month, I'll already be in. At the moment, it's almost seemed to beat the unbeatable. However, I hold, I run a touch. I'm noticing a lot of patterns. I'm noticing a lot of patterns when, um, how shall I say, some tradies just don't communicate. They don't communicate between themselves. They don't communicate with me. They think that, how shall I say it nicely? They have their own schedule. That's fair. Now, dear, lovely, professional, they know what they're doing. However, their own timing. Am I being diplomatic enough? However, their timing does not always match the real schedule timing. And all I'm hearing is, welcome to the construction world, welcome to the construction. I'm like, no, well, that's not, that's actually not good enough. Not good enough for me. Because if you have a commitment, I will hold you into that commitment and I will do my best to remind you your commitment. And the commitment is not just for me, your client. The commitment is to yourself, to be impeccable with your word. And when you are, everything will just come to you. Anyway, I have managed to change some things. I've created win-win, manifested. I'm a generator, so I'm creating, waving magic. Lots of love, lots of light. I have two very good support friends that supporting me and just reminding me that I'm actually doing a good job. So thank you, Karen Tracy. And thank you to the others who are there for me and just listening to my rant of the day. And um, I'm like, so I'm being told, celebrate on your success. And I'm like, but it's not completed yet. How can I celebrate? And this is part of today's subject expectation, communication, and reality, okay? So my expectation that everything will go according to plan, you know, just simple, just, just simple, do what you're supposed to do. And then communication sucks, not for mine. Well, it does at some stage afterwards, sucks. And then reality. So then what do you do? How do you solve problems? And a friend, a dear friend told me the other day, she said, the job of a good manager is just to be able to make the right decision, the right decision, the right decisions, the right decisions. So how are you in making decisions? And what are those decisions, right? What are those decisions? How are they going to impact everything? So it goes from different size tiles and it goes to, where will I put what and how will I do it? And then while you're doing other things and where am I, or a photography machine. So if you're doing any hands night, you should do the photos. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. And then I have a wedding, which I've written, but still need to do some extra things. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, so you might be spread really thin, however, my mind is clear. So I'm challenging myself clearly with doing things more and more. And actually it brings me to another product. I woke up this week, was it Monday night, with a horrible cramp in my calf. Does any of you ever get cramps in your calf muscles or any other muscles in the body? When I woke up with that cramp, I was like, 
OMG, it is totally effed. I have pushed myself too much. Okay. I have my own, I'm biased, what can I say? I have my own magnesium oil next to my head, next to my bed, on my bedside table. And I was like, oh, oh my God, oh my God. Spread, 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 spread. My calf muscle went like, and I'm like, you overdid it. You simply overdid it. So all you need is three sprays. It is one of the smoothest one because it has very high level quality and you just rub it in your skin. Now it doesn't just have to be on the calf muscle or the sole of the feet. It can be wherever it's sore or wherever you need. So am I allowed to promote my own magnesium oil because it has 96% bioavailability in your body? Magnesium is one of the first vitamins or minerals that will be evaporated once that you are under stress, once that you are under um, a lot of things that you're doing too much, a lot of heavy schedule. I've created this one as a large one and as a baby one. You, you can put the baby in your handbag. I actually have it in my backpack. And this is oh so important. So magnesium, whether it's mine, Amanda, you have three bottles. That's it. <laughs> That's the way. Um, yet when you're using it, your whole body is actually getting relaxed. So I have a, I, I have a massage every week and I took it with me to the massage and I said, do you mind to spray it all over? And my body just, I was able to walk again because it was literally catching my calf muscle and I said, okay, I have to stop. I have to go to the, I have to go to the beach. I have to relax and that's it. That's where I drive. And those of you who sees my stories and as such, um, I just go to the pier. I take my car, breathe, 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 two or three songs, maybe one phone call. See you later. So you need to create, what do you create for yourself? A little moment of clearance, a little moment of joy. And what can you do for yourself in order to give yourself back? And so today I went to do new nails, but she said to me, no, they're good. So we've just done a little extra little juge because that I'm conducting a wedding this weekend. So... We just sparkled it a little bit more because, hey, we all need a little sparkle. And as I said before, today's Purim, the Jewish Halloween, it's a full moon and it's a change. It's a turn. And once we are still in Pisces, so it's a full moon in a Virgo. So if there are any Virgos there or if there are anyone who has um, extra planets in Virgo, this is our time, if I may say so. And it's about us as people, not just the Virgos, liberating ourselves. And as I said, resetting that button of limitation. I want you to be free. I want you to allow yourself to create your reality that you really want to do. It depends, Sam, what's, what's your star sign? Because if he is a Virgo, then what do you do with that? So then, um, what do you do when it's very intense? What do you do when you're feeling the intensity in the air? I can tell you, I've been touching this so many times and just rubbing it and receiving so much calmness from it. Um, Haruka, I can always send it to you. A Leo and a Virgo. Well, that can work if there is a respect between one and each other. It's all about the respect. It's all about the communication. So what do you do when you have to speak and speak and speak? Like I almost had a time clash discussion, but very heated between the Tyler and the floor person. And it's like both of them wanted to do it and both of them had a schedule, but they said, you know, no, but I need to do this, but I don't have time. And I need to do this, but da-da-dum, da-da-dum. 
communication started to be really heated. So what did I say to them? I literally, kindergarten teacher Sharon, was how can we create a win-win? How can we create a situation that will really work for everyone in relation to the project? Not about you, not about you. Focus about the project. How can we make it work? And guess what? They did. They made it work and it's going to work. And I'm very grateful. But keep giving good wishes that it will work, okay? So that part of the communication. Have you heard of active communication? When you are, let's say you have a friend, you have a partner, doesn't matter who they are, but you're having a discussion with them. And then both of you are speaking together. That doesn't help anything, especially if the discussion is a bit heated, right? So then what do you need to do? You need to set a time. I teach it in one of my courses. Um, you need to set a time. You need to say, okay, you have one minute and then you go up to three minutes that you talk and the other person just listening, 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 active listening. Okay. How was your day? What were you doing? And then the other one, and then, and then anything else. And then anything else. Once that the person, do you know how kids chasing and they're like, mom, 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 dad, dad, dad. They want their attention. They want their attention. Once that you give them the attention, they're relaxed. I would like you to do the same. So once that the other person has just spoken, 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 that's it. They're empty. They're ready to start the day, the, the evening, whatever they need. And it is done. Then you swap. One is talking, the other one is listening. You can even put a timer, one minute, three minutes, up to five minutes. And then, boom, 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 talking, talking, talking. Yes, and I saw this, and I saw this, and I saw this. Because, you know, let's say that you want to speak something, like you're hanging out, you're just watching a TV, and then the other person says, oh, by the way, and you're like, but I'm watching, but I want to share with you, but I'm watching. But I want to share with you. And then there is an upset between the parties because the one feel rejected, one feeling excited, but then rejected. And the other one, I'm just sitting here quietly and I want a few minutes. However, did it ever happen to you? However, if you designate the two, three minutes and two, three minutes, don't tell me that you don't have that time to communicate. You designate it, you speak it. You don't do anything else. You don't look at the phone. You don't do anything. You can put a timer on your phone. That's it. And then, boom. Anything else that you would like to say, anything else that you would like to say, a hug and a kiss or whatever, hasta la vista, go and do what you want to do. Once that you do this, there is not going to be a situation, a state of mind that the other person is feeling unheard that the other person is feeling um, undesired or, or unsupported. Because once that you're doing this, you're supported, you're accepted, you are loved. Okay? So does that ever happen to you? Do you do active listening or do you do passive listening? The one person just dumps on you and you're feeling that you haven't done it enough or you haven't been heard. Or you're always feeling that the other person is talking and talking and you don't say as much. Tell me. That was a big sentence that I was saying there. So what is it there for you? Tell me. Do you reckon that after 14 hours I can take my shoes off? Live. Sharon is taking her shoes off. Yes. Everything is shaking. So did it happen to you? Did it happen to you? that you were with a friend or with a partner and they did not stop talking. You wanted to chat, but you didn't have, you didn't stand a chance. Let's just say it this way. Did it happen to you? Just gonna charge this phone. Okay, not everyone at once here. So then what happens in the reality? The reality can be a total different story. The reality is where we're actually seeing 
whether you understood it or not, whether the other person understand it or not, how do you solve it? How do you move it? How do you change it? How do you create a win-win solution? I'm all about win-win. Can you create a win-win? Where in your life would you like to create a win-win? Can you write to me and tell me? What will be a win-win for you? In the meanwhile, when you started to talk, she spoke over me. Who was that? Mm -hmm. Amanda, who was that, darling? I'm going to take... Is there anyone else that you would like to write? Thank you. And what do you do when people speak over you? Are you being quiet? Or are you demanding the space? Or are you making sure that you are being? Yep. Yes, I understand. So then, have you been quiet? Have you been demanding your space? Have you been talking yourself? What do you find when that is happening to you? I am going to take, I am in trust. Your mom does not listen when you talk. So do you take the attention? Do you say, uh, I'm talking, can you put your phone down? Or can you just look at me when I'm talking? You know, I have a rule with my daughter that at certain time, I won't talk unless you put the phone down or I'll, just, I'll do the same for her. If she's talking, I'll put the phone down. I have a friend, she said, but I'm multitasking, I can hear you. I'm like, nope. Give me the full attention for two minutes and then you don't need to give me any attention. How about that? Does that make sense? Some things need full attention. Some things can be hovered over. And that is the difference. Saying, say to her, Flory, you can say to her, um, Mom, can we just put the phone before you even start? And then you, Francis, you go quiet and you shut down. What help does that do for you? It doesn't help you. And that is the fight, flight, freeze. So one will demand the attention. Like I say, uh, darling, do you mind not to have the phone? Yeah, but it just, no. Give me two minutes. Then we will be together then. Sometimes I can tell you if, if my friends are not with me and I do, I prefer to do a video call because like this, I'm, I'll be assured that I will do nothing else, that I could be there and listen to them. It's not that just Jay will listen to me. I will be able to listen to them. And this is, let's say, the fight. Flight will be what Flori does, which is like being upset, but I'm not sure what you're doing about it. And Francis, you go quiet and shut down. That is the freeze. So how many times have you been quiet and down? How many times have you been feeling as if you're not important? But then have you been feeling not important because that the other person is insecure or because that you have not done something right, or that in the past, people told you to be quiet, like kids are seen, but not heard, and that is the difference. Does that make sense? I am going to take I am in trust. We actually all need to have hope and trust at the moment. Let me open the booklet for us. And we see what it is, yeah? So I am in trust. And I'm going to do it for you. Tell me if you can feel it, okay? So I'm just taking a few. And I would highly recommend you to use it for like at least two weeks. Um, she's not interested in talking, so I stopped talking. No. And then she asked, what's the matter? I explained. She said it's un. True. So stop. Create a proper conversation, a proper, you know, a proper thing. So let me start with a P. 
purpose of it. Love arises from our ability to reach out and touch humanity. This combination elicits compassion for our fellow sentient beings. This is a remedy combination which restores trust in self and in humanity. Okay, so let's say with me the affirmation. I now choose to trust myself as I am my own authority. I am valid and I know that I can trust my judgment of others. I trust the universe to provide me all my needs now and always. I choose to provide my own needs and release my needs to rescue. Okay? This is where... Um, this is one is working on your crown chakra. And not only that it works on your crown chakra, it actually lifts your vibration. And, you know, I often say to my students or in my talks, I don't want you to trust, but I need others, but I need you to trust yourself. Like this, when you trust someone, what happens? Expectation and then disappointments. And then you get upset and broken heart. So I think I said it before here as well. Don't give your heart away. Share your heart and then take it back. Does that make sense? If you give your heart away, they might not return it or they might not return it in the same way that you gave it to them. Most likely it won't be as cared for as you would care for it. So for example, if I will give you, if I will lend you my book or any book, I'm a bookaholic, and then I will tell you, um, take it for a month. But then you return it to me, matted, you have pig ears, you have this, you have that. I'll be like very, very upset. I'll be pissed off, to be honest with you, because I gave you a, a good new book, lend it to you, and then you bring it back. What I will perceive, potentially, that's the expectation, I would like it to be exactly the same way that I gave it to you. However, that's my expectation. And I'll communicate, hey, this is my book. I love it. Take care of it. Whether it's this book or another book, don't get me wrong. And then you will bring it to be not good, not the same. That's the reality. What it might be, and that's a metaphor for other things in life, that I will just not lend you another book again because that means that um, I'm jeopardizing it. Now take this book and turn it into your heart. When you are sharing your heart with someone, I don't want you to give them their heart. They might not return it in the same way. But I want you to share the experience, the fun. By the way, there is one different thing, okay? If that book went into adventure and came back and the person was really, really enjoying it and yet apologetic and taking responsibility. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I was reading it and a cup of tea fell on it. I was sitting on my couch and I moved. Boom. I won't be upset. I'll actually be happy because that person has now a scar of action. If you know what I mean. If the book is really, really bad, then I lent one of my Harry Potter books to this beautiful, beautiful family with three little kids, and it was in Hebrew. And what happened is that she read them a story before bed, like part of the book. And there was some stage that I said, you know what, it's been so long, I'll just buy myself another one. And then when she returned it, or wanted to return, I said, keep it, it's okay. And like this, it will be longer because I felt that the book was really being read into life and that's what it's all about. So how are you going to nurture yourself and care for yourself and do what you need to do for yourself and to protect yourself from potential hurt? And you know the expression, love as if you've never been hurt. But again, what type of hurt are you allowing yourself to do because when you are um i guess opening up 
you're totally, totally um, exposed and vulnerable. Now, that is a good place to be when you are feeling things, when you are wanting to experience things. And I will actually encourage you to be vulnerable. Like, I'm taking this at my own home. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to, you know, this is it. This is me. Not in my fancy schmancy, whatever. I'm actually not fancy schmancy. I'm just a queen. And we go wherever we go. We are just rolling. Some people would like me to go to Maluluba. <laughs> Aisha just joined us from Maluluba and she left Melbourne to this beautiful life that I am totally envy. And one day I will visit. So when we have again the expectation, poor communication, and then the reality, it can be, that is the negative one. Now, what if we will turn it into positivity? What if we will now say, okay, that is my expectation. How can we make it even better? With positive communication, with positive action, how can we lift it, change it, and raise the vibration into full positivity? You can do that. How can it get even better? How can it be even better than this? What will make it even better than this? So when two people communicate and they communicate properly and they have each other's back and they know that they want to achieve only the goodness, where's the problem? There is no problem. Everything is flowing. Everything is even better than what you thought. And this is where I want us all to be. Better than what we thought. Faster than what we expected or slower, if that's what we need. Whatever you need while you are aligned with your higher self, you got it. And this is how manifestation works. And because that we are on this full moon in Virgo, what is it that you want to achieve? What is it that you would like to bring into fruition? Write to me. What would you like to manifest on this amazing full moon. Right. I know that I would like to manifest easiness. I want the next month, this coming month, to be easy, flowing, joyful, better than what I thought and expected. Because remember, we can ourselves limit it because we can only think so much but what the universe can give us beyond, you can't even see it, beyond. And this is what it is. So you would like meaningful work and purpose, 100%. How are we going to manifest it? Once that you are connecting into that amazing creation or just tapping into the universal creation, things can only get better. Things can only get perfect and perfect. And I can tell you, even on my construction site, lady boss, yes, boss. I said, I oh, know boss, you boss. Because it's not about the ego. It's about let's get, do what you need to do. Even on the construction site, it's like, this is my preferred schedule. Let's make it happen. Now, does this schedule relate to reality? I sure hope so, because I think that it's happening. All we need to do is just to create that extra joy, that extra touch of happiness to move it on. Does that make sense to you? Health is essential, Nat. Totally true. So let us manifest, let us manifest health and wealth and joy, love and happiness. What do you think? What do you reckon? Shall we do that? So close your eyes if you can, and definitely not if you're driving. So close your eyes and just manifest. Manifest your ultimate health. Manifest your ultimate wealth. Manifest your joy. 
If you have epilepsy, then you just need to ask for those spasms in the head to calm down and ask them why, what triggers them and then you can shift it. Pardon me. So we're doing health, we're doing wealth, we're doing joy. What about love? Love for yourself, love for others, allowing yourself to really be connected, connected with who you are and what you are. And once that you're doing all of that, phew, have you heard of Bob, the uncle? Well, Bob will be the uncle. The uncle. <laughs> so let us manifest it. With the God, with the goddess, with the energy of nature, I would like us to manifest that joy and love and health that we are all deserving in this beautiful full moon and this beautiful energy. We are creating this beautiful new reality of joy, of happiness, of wealth, wow, and a very stable mental state. So we're balancing our physical body, our emotional body, our mental body, our spiritual body that actually embodies and emphasizes other um, light bodies with it. It's interesting. This week I had someone who um, came and I was five minutes late and I said to him, do you mind to sit and meditate for a few minutes and let's see what your energy will be like? Oh my God, his energy was like light blue and pink and yellow and so much joy that it was wonderful. So if you will give yourself enough time, everything that you want will come to you. If you're talking, oh, I don't know why people love me and I don't know why I'm here and I don't know this and I don't know that, that is what you're inviting. You're inviting that confusion. You're inviting that doubt. Stop it. Ask yourself to be connecting into the true reality of who you are and what you are. Does that make sense? And once that you are connecting to this high vibration, high spirit, and literally bringing it from the creator, you are unstoppable. You are totally unstoppable. So do you have any questions so far? Do you have any questions for me? I left my water there, my throat. It's all good. So I'm still teaching my course, 28 Lessons Self Mastery, and we were working on some um, beautiful stuff, including how to channel and love your inner child and um, desire versus rejection and starting to work on all those aspects of that little child of yours inside of you, no matter how old or young you are, you have a little child and often whomever is having fights in the system, it will be triggered from your little child. And if you ever had any trauma in relation to relationship or you've seen your parents in a little bit traumatic situation, guess what? Most likely your inner child is the one who is responsible for choosing your partners. We cannot have it. We cannot have a four-year-old, a five-year-old, a 10-year-old choosing the right partner for you. Do you agree with that? Give me some likes if you do. So do you have any questions? Let me just say just again. And really, thank you all for um, listening. I don't take it for granted. And yes, I am making time for you guys. And I hope that you are um, loving it as well. And it's kind of become a little ritual for me as well. So, yes. All right. So, saging you, saging me. It's like the song of Abba. Knowing you, knowing me. Um, I am in trust. Magnesium oil. And by the way, so as I said, construction site. So I always have my room spray in the car and it was needed. It was needed. So I made a terrible boo-boo. I had a beautiful fruit platter that I wanted to take to the building site and to get people to eat it. And I just left it in the car for the whole day. And I realized it just before. 
So guess what? Came into the action. And that is like the best solution to the car. So that's the signature one. And I have the one, I have the uh, private collection. And you just spray it in the room and it is like, oh, so yummy. So if you live in the area, welcome to come and grab it and smell it for yourself. But it's um, oh, so yummy. All right. Any questions? Because we are coming into card times. So those are my cards from Survive to Thrive and um, by yours truly. And this is the weekly time. You're welcome, Flory. So the cards are divided for Survive, Survive, Revive, 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 Thrive, and Thrive. It goes by the chakras. It goes by the energy. Am I frozen? Facebook people, I'm pretty hot here. Um, anyway, so the cards have all kind of um, affirmations and symbolism that can actually make a whole different in whomever and whatever is coming. So who would like to have a card? Who would like to be the first one to ask for a card? Steffi, I don't think you want to be in my video. I think you just wanted to wave, right? Okay. Who would like a card? Crystalline, would you like a card? I'm all good. Perfect. All right, so Crystalline, you want to change. This is the Survive Revive. And I now re say with me, I now realize that change is important to my evolution. It is safe to change. Okay, so that was for crystalline. Then we have, oh my God, I just need to read all those things. Fatoshka, Koka? Fatoshka, 1977. You're coming into the light. And that's the most important thing. I am, I am now part of the Universal Light Collective Family. I am now part of the Universal, Universal Light Collective Family. That is, oh, awesome. Okay. Who do we have there? Haruka. Konnichiwa. Don arigato. You're choosing to move and you're trusting. Very good. So I choose to move forward in my life and I'm now willing, ready and able to fly high. Perfection. Um, Flory, art one. What are you timid? Or who are you timid of? I am now safe and secure. Potentially to step up to your mom, it's quite challenging. However, you are active. So, Flory, you are active. I'm now active and full of vital energy. Because if you want to talk with someone who doesn't want to listen, it's really disheartening and it's really tiring. So that won't, won't help you at all. Sam, your card is regeneration. My cells are now regenerating to full capacity on all levels and dimensions, which is great. Steph. Steph, 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 fulfilled. I am now willing, ready, and able to live in my fullest expression of myself. And by the way, if you can't join the talk, but you are, you know that you will listen to it later, feel free just to send me a message and I will read you the card. I will pull you a card, okay? Um, oh, Crystalline, it froze. Okay, so let me just say it for you again because you were the first one. Crystalline, you're wanting to change. I now realize that change is important to my evolution. It is safe to change, okay? Uh, okay. Steffi, I read for you. So, who else is here and would like a card? Natalie, you would love a card. So, Nat, are you frustrated? I now choose to see the big picture and release 
and transform my frustration into light. Okay? And this is where you are doing it. A card for Vicky. Thanks, Flory. Vicky is cooling down. I feel I no longer feel overly hot and my body temperature is perfect. I am now cool, calm, and collected. Okay. Um, Helen, a card for you. Processing. You are processing a lot. My processing methods are fast and accurate. My brain is now enjoying this freedom. That means that the energy is going and flowing and making it work. Caroline, the card for you is burdened. Potentially there's a lot, a lot going on. So it is time for you to say, I now let go of the heavy burden. I feel light and safe. Okay, Amanda, the card for you. Inner beauty. The card for you is inner beauty. I'm now willing, ready, and able to shine my light inside and out. Okay. Can you see, guys, how I'm asking you to communicate with me so I will know? And like this, it makes life very easy. A card for you, Tracy, is security. You want the security. I am now secure on all levels and dimensions. Okay. That is very good. Okay, then Francis, a card for you. Nourishment. It is a time to nourish yourself. I am now willing, ready, and able to move my body, eat healthy, nourishing foods, and be hydrated. Make sure to drink a lot of water. Hey, Suzanne, perfect timing for you for a card. Brave, reconnect to life. I am now willing, ready, and able to step out of my comfort zone. It is safe for me to reconnect to life. Perfection, right? Maybe life in Australia. <laughs> okay, so Francis, I gave you a card. Did I not? No. Francis, write to me. Did I give you a card? I'm like fully channeling here. You're most welcome. I'll pull a card for myself, okay? Lack of awareness of the building constructions. Um, I now choose to raise my vibration and be aware of all that is around me. Let's see what does that mean. I need to love myself more. That means that I need to give myself more optimism. Okay. So I am optimistic and now willing, ready, and able to glow and shine my light into the world. And this is what makes things really interesting slash funny, not funny, haha. -ha, because every time that it happens and, and you go into this, oh my God, what's going to happen? Is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? And you have to make those things really shorter and shorter. So from that point of view, that's where you go back into that self-love. Julie. Oh my God. What did I just say? Self-love. O-M-G. What's the card? What does it say here? Self-love. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. I'm now willing, ready, and able to express my self-love at any given moment. Who said that this witch didn't make these cards? Good. Now I'm feeling that it's kind of completed itself. And... Julie, a card for you. Now it's your official card. Are you furious at something or someone? I now understand that anger hurts me. I now choose to let it go and replace it with love. Three minutes of anger debilitates our immune system for eight hours. Eight hours. Baxter, are you here? Baxter, reassess and conscience. I am now willing, ready, and able to assess my life and to find my true calling. Brilliant. Great. Does anyone else would like a card? Anyone that I forgot or not? Sav, this card is for you. Role model, I am now willing, ready, and able to be a positive example. That's for her and for Drew. Drew, heart center. I'm now willing, ready, and able to connect myself and the world 
through my heart. Do you have any questions? Do you need me to do a recap of what we spoke about? So we spoke about the expectation. We spoke about what happens when you don't communicate. And we spoke about um, the reality of what's really happening. Amy, this is a card for you. Revive and balance. I am now willing, ready, and able to grow. I wonder if it's to grow up or to grow energetically or vibrational. Each one will interpret it differently, okay? But those interpretations at the end of the day will make sense. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right, and just one more general message. Deprive and content. I am now willing, ready, and able to tune into my needs. So this is a request for you to connect to your true needs. Um, Danny, this card is for you. Rejection accepted. I am now willing, ready, and able to accept myself. And anyone else? You're welcome. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, so um, you're all super welcome and thank you again. And I think it is just time to ride that intensity. The intensity is high, very high. And I want you to be able to allow yourself to just clear and shift your whole energy. I mean, you are here. I'll give you quickly one card, okay, before we go. Your card is worthy. You are worthy. Hobby. You are worthy. You are worthy. I am now worthy of love and all the good in the world. I am now worthy of love and all the good in the world. And if I'll do one to Oz. Expression. She is now expressing herself. My expression is now full of positive energy that fills me up with joy and positivity. Thank you. All right, beautiful people. I just want to again thank you all, and I'll see you again next week. If you have any requests for me through the week or through for the next live, please don't hesitate. I'm super approachable. If you're on my Instagram, if you're on my Facebook, it is all good. I am here for you, and I love to hear from you, okay? Did you enjoy it? Let me know. And for those who just joined us, just watch the, re the repeat and it's going to be up there. Okay. All right, beautiful. I'm going to drag myself to bed and I'm just going to chill out. Love you lots. Take care. Be well.